Hello everybody, this is Computerized MTG and unfortunately this past Friday I haven't been able to um, attend Friday Night Magic which means no vlog, which means more importantly no FNM loot but I'm gonna make up for that um, with opening a couple of packs and by a couple of packs I mean an Aether Revolt bundle. Now I haven't opened one of these since they used to be called fat packs. Uh, they changed them in case you weren't aware. And uh, yeah, so excited to open this guy up. I will have a booster box opening soon as well, but for now uh, let's crack into this guy and see what we can get out of this. Hopefully we get some good stuff. A couple of uh, I didn't cut into it at all. A couple of fatal pushes would be pretty nice. So, uh, difficulties here. There we go. So let's pop this open. So, from my understanding, now these bundles are uh, two boxes. And obviously, as the box says, now with 10 booster packs. So, that's one more booster pack. I do believe the cost slightly increased, if I'm not wrong. What is this? Oh, just the. One of those tags so people don't steal stuff. Oh god, okay. So, let's see, here's the contents. Eh, lighting not that great. A um, little bit dark. All right, well, got the main box here. We got the uh, catalog, the little booklet, player's guide. There you go. Here, we got that other box. We have this box here. Now, if you're new to uh, buying these things, and uh, you've never bothered to actually open this up, which, where is it? <laughs> uh, right here. Somewhere. These are, uh, po oh, it's right here. These are posters. So if you've ever bought a fat pack or bundle as they are now called, do not throw this out because this is a poster. So as you can see, it's got the Aether Revolt artwork. It actually looks pretty cool. This would probably make for a cool playmat. Uh, maybe, maybe one of those Ultra Pro playmats already has this artwork. I'm not sure. I haven't seen all the um, supplies and merchandise from Aether Revolt. But yeah, pretty cool little poster. Pretty cool artwork. Uh, let's see what's in this smaller box. Uh, feels really light, yeah. I think this is just so you can put stuff in here after you crack open your stuff. So this is an empty box, we'll put it off to the side. Booklet, um, if you've never bought one of these, it kind of gives a few highlights. It's uh, It kind of explains the set, it, show, it uh, talks about the new mechanic, highlights some of the more um, quote-unquote more powerful cards. Primarily it always hits up the uh, mythics and uh, a few of the rares. Talks about uh, a little bit of the lore. And uh, another cool thing is it's got every card printed here. Granted this isn't as special with websites like Mythic Spoiler and others where you can just kind of look up the entire set but this is pretty cool and I believe in the back oh it doesn't have it. Maybe I skipped it. Does it not have it? A lot of, uh, if I'm not Remembering wrong, yeah, it doesn't have it. Uh, <clears throat> if I'm not remembering wrong, uh, the older ones of uh, these player guides and the fat packs, they also used to have a little checkbox at the end of all the cards uh, for foil, non foil. So, you know, if you're a collector, you can use these as kind of like a little guide of all the cards that you've gathered from the set. So, let's put that off to the side right here. And here we have the main box, which they've changed. Um, it used to be, let me see, is this, huh, well that kind of sucks, I don't know if you can see it right here, but uh, the uh, the paper that's on the cardboard that has the artwork, see right here, it, it kind of it isn't glued all the way around, so you can kind of rub up against it and uh, yeah, it peels off. Uh, let me see if I have, I believe I have an older uh, fat pack box, uh, let me grab it real quick, just as a comparison. That way you guys get to see the difference, if you care. I have one around here, there we go. Whoops, it popped out. Well, anyways, so the older box, 
used to look like this. So this, let me see if I can slide this over if it fits. Yeah, so the older box would look like this. This is the one from Avison Restored, which by the way, Avison, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Love this card, love the lore, love the artwork. So this is how the older box used to look. And this is how the new box looks now. It's a little bit slanted. Um, some people like it. Uh, I don't. It makes it easier to pull out. You have a bigger surface. Here you have these little notches. Here you have a bigger notch. Pull it out. Just like that. But uh, I don't know. I don't like these newer boxes. I can't say I'm a fan of I like the older ones. But anyways, this is not a review comparison. This is an unboxing. So enough time on that. Let's open this baby up. Inside you have your 20-sided spin-down counter with the Kaladesh logo. Oops, bumped into the camera there. And then you get your 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, as the box says, packs of uh, either Revolt. And then you get a land pack. I believe it is 80? Is it 80 or 100? I believe it might be uh, 80. Can't remember. But yeah, so, <clears throat> sorry about that. So it's a good uh, starting point uh, for uh, newer players. Uh, a lot of local game shops, I haven't seen this at like Target or Walmart or any other big uh, retail store, but uh, pretty much every local game shop will have uh, land packs, which uh, it's a small box. I don't have one with me, but I do have uh, two of them. It's a small box and it comes with a uh, 400 lands, I think it is. So if you're starting out and you need some lands, you know, unless you want to order online, get your full art lands and all that stuff, uh, pimp your deck out, <laughs> and getting those uh, land uh, packs, land bases, uh, I forgot what they're called. Uh, yeah, they're pretty helpful. So on top of the 10 packs, the spin down counter, and the uh, land pack there you get this little uh magic quick reference so it kind of explains a little bit of uh, what's going on on the card and you know tap on tap uh, the mana symbols and all that and it also has the uh, steps of each turn what happens in them so on and so forth uh this is good for newer players obviously if you've played magic for a while this means nothing to you but it's good you know keep them around if you know you meet a newer player at a local game shop hand it over to them or you know if, if you have a friend that just got into magic they don't have one of these it's kind of a you know quick reference it's handy to have around so pretty cool and the bo oh this is another difference these uh these uh, bundles as they're now called they come in this little box which i'm not sure uh if it can oh boy yeah, if you move it over to the corners, it kind of squeezes. Huh. For whatever reason, it's only on that corner. On this corner, it's fine. Yeah, I guess you can use this uh, to put some spare cards, uh, your deck, and uh, sideboard and whatnot. I'm not sure if this actually fits. Oh, that's pretty dark. I just kind of noticed that. I'm not sure if this actually fits the... Uh, let's see. Oh, that's darker. Yeah. yeah. I'm not... Anyways, you, you guys can see what I'm talking about if it looks a little dark. Uh, I'm not sure if this will fit uh, sleeve cards. I never used it with sleeve cards. I think from the size of it, it I think it, it would. Let's see. Yeah, it'll definitely fit sleeve cards. So this is a pretty cool little box. You know, if you, if you don't have a deck box yet, you don't have a place, to, you know, you can put two decks. Yeah, I think you can fit two decks with sideboards. So, or a commander deck, loose cards, whatever it is. So, anyways, let's get to the meat of... The unboxing, which is probably what everyone likes to see, and let's crack some packs. So, unlike my FNM loot videos where I show almost every card and go uh, to the uncommons, I will just skip over the commons, get right to the uncommons. Oh, we got a full back there. Yeah, okay, so put this here, and our uncommon. Come on, focus. There it is. Rogue Refiner. So three mana, three two. When he enters the battlefield, you draw a card and you get two energy. Pretty good on common. We have Scrapper Champion. We have Enraged Giant. And for our rare, we have Sram Senior Edificer. 
Uh, this card is uh, pretty alright. Uh, I don't know how it'll do in standard, but it's a, it's a pretty neat little card. And we have a foil, which is Shielded Aether Thief. I believe uh, people are actually playing this card or trying to play it uh, as part of a combo-ish piece. I mean, 0-4 with Flash. Here, if you haven't seen the card yet, let me, let me bring this back up. So it's 2 mana for 0-4 with Flash. Pretty much blocks everything that's uh, aggressive. And uh, he gets in energy, and you can tap tap it, pay three energy, and draw a card. So pretty handy. Uh, two two mana zero four. Uh, we'll probably I'm gonna say it'll see some sideboard play in some control ish decks, simply because it's uh, two mana for zero four with flash. It, it, it's literally gonna block just about everything. Uh, let me move these uncommons over here. I don't know why the lighting is weird right now. It's uh, some spots are dark, some spots are very bright. Mm. I know my lighting isn't the best, but it's normally not this bad. Uh, so I apologize for that. Uh, skip to the uncommons. There we are. Put the commons right here. So now here we have Salvage Scuttler. Efficient construction. Pretty pretty neat little card. Seen some people build around this uh, card as well. We have Thopter Arrest. Another pretty decent little um, what is it? Um, Oblivion Ring type effect. And our rare or mythic rare, nice, is Planner Bridge. So this is a six mana legendary artifact. Pay eight colorless mana. Tap, search your library for a permanent card, put it on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. I've seen some people try to build ramp decks with this, you know, big old Drazis and whatnot, and then we have energy, and ooh, an emblem, a Tezzeret emblem. Could that be a Tezzeret somewhere in these packs? Who knows? But, yeah, it, it's, um, it's a cool card. I mean, in EDH, that's probably going to be played. <laughs> but in standard, I don't know. I've seen some people try to brew up some, uh, ramp decks that try to use it, but I don't think it's going to be too efficient. I think uh, for as long as Aether Work Marvel, Aether Work Marvel, or is it Aether Mar Marvel Works? Aether Work Marvel. I, mm, I'm a little off right now, but uh, yeah, I, I think for as long as that's in rotation, uh, the uh, Planner Bridge is not going to see much play. So here we have Malthus Revolutionary. I think this is a pretty decent card. Then we have Ridge Scale Tusker. Then we have a Hidden Stockpile. Another pretty neat card. Um, again, this is one of those build around cards that I've seen people build around. So, pretty cool. And our rare is Battle of the Bridge. Um, not sure how to uh, really describe that, right? It's, it's an interesting card, but. And here we have our legendary monkey, Ragavan. Yep, Ra is that Ragavan? Yeah, Ragavan. Got our legendary monkey token. Let's get into the third pack. I'm going to try to speed this up a little bit. I ranted on too much about the how the fat pack looks and what it comes with. And uh, I'm opening these packs a little slow. So, okay, here we are. Our first uncommon here is Treasure Keeper. Then we have Invigorated Rampage, Reckless Racer, and then our rare is Glint Sleeve Siphoner. This is also pretty decent rare. I like it. And then we have a Servo and a Mountain. Let's open up our fifth pack here. Is it? One, I keep bumping into the camera. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is our fifth pack. On that there. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah. First thing common for this pack is Untether Untethered Express. Gifted Aetherborn. This is also a not too bad card, honestly. Two mana, two, three with Death Touch and Leftling. Pretty good, pretty good. Then we have Perilous Predicament. And our rare is Baral, Chief of Compliance. 2 mana, 1, 3. This is an interesting card. I'm not sure exactly how good it is. It's definitely interesting. Uh, I like it. <laughs> As a control player, why wouldn't I? I'm not sure, again, how effective the card is, how playable it is, or how much value you can actually get out of that. 
But uh, I'm sure people will try to play it, and we'll see if it's good or not. But one thing is for sure, it is an interesting card. Right, so here we have Aeronaut Admiral, Admiral, Aeronaut Admiral, Thopter Arrest, Consulate Dreadnought, and our rare Rish Cars Expertise. Again, this is a pretty good card. It, I know I've been saying that's a, that's a pretty good card for a lot of these uncommons and rares, but uh, this set has a lot of good cards. Whether or not they're playable and standard is uh, slightly irrelevant here when uh, judging a card. Um, yeah, definitely uh, really good. Ooh, we have a uh, foil back there. I keep spending them out too much and ruining any possible surprise. So, Winding Constrictor. Again, I think this is a pretty good uncommon. Um, Revenous Intruder, Siege Modification, and our rare is Inspiring Statuary, so it's a 3-mana artifact, non-artifact spells you have, or non-artifact spells you cast have Improvise. So, eh, this, this one I don't think it's too playable, and our foil is Mobile Garrison. The artwork has really impressed me in these, uh, these past sets, really like the whole steampunk look it's pretty cool and makes for some really cool uh, artwork here we are last three packs we're in the home stretch get rid of that boop, 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 boop. Uh, here we are the uncommons treasure keeper gifted aetherborn vengeful rebel and our rare is quicksmith spy and then we have a forest and a servo Notice how we have yet to see a single Fatal Push. I'm uh, building a Grixis standard deck, so finding a Fatal Push would be really nice. So, here we are on comments. We, <clears throat> we have Narnam Renegade. Again, pretty good on common. Monstrous Onslaught. <clears throat> Tezzeret's Touch. This is also a card that's definitely going to see some play. Whether or not it'll stick around, that's something else. But the people are definitely going to play this. This is uh, pretty good. And then our rare is Merchant's Dock Hand. This is also a pretty good card. And then we have a Mountain and a Thopter Token. So here we are at the last pack. Will my prediction be true? Will I find a Tezzeret? Or better yet, a Fatal Push? I want my fatal pushes. So let's skip on ahead. Here we are. All right. Aeronaut Admiral. Felidar Guardian. This card is going to be annoying. I, I'm sure by now everybody knows the gripe that people are having with Wizard with the recent bannings and printing this while uh, Sahili Rai isn't standard you know nobody likes splinter twin and modern it's a, a very boring deck to play against very non-interactive nobody wants to see that in standard the next uncommon is servo schematic this is an interesting little card um, unfortunately that means no fatal pushes our rare is another SRAM Senior Edificer. And then we have a Swamp and another Tezzeret Emblem. So, no Tezzeret, uh, that's unfortunate. No Fatal Push, that's also unfortunate. But, we got some pretty good cards, I feel like. Uh, the uh, Merchant's Dockhand, it's pretty good. And uh, we have a Foil Shielded Aether Thief, which I think is also pretty good. We've got a few things here and there that are pretty neat. The uh, Brawl Chief of uh, Compliance is pretty good. And uh, Rishkar's Expertise, I think it's pretty good. And we have our Mythic, or one Mythic, Planner Bridge. So overall, I think these were some decent pulls. Got some decent uncommons, some pretty decent uh, commons. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video here. If you like my stuff, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.